Yeah. Alright mate. Hey, how's it going? Good. I had a question. Okay. It's one that uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. Okay. Because I think you get asked it a lot actually. Okay. Can you guess what it is? No. Oh, okay, I, I, okay, I get it. <laughs> what's, what's it all about? This is essentially your visual catchphrase now. It's yeah. something that you've uh, become quite well known for. It holds 50 numbers. It can text, make and receive calls. Uh -huh. And that's it. Sure. So what are your views on the alternative, which are smartphones? Well, this is exactly what I've been, this is exactly really what I've been talking about in terms of uh, valuing your time. So, you know, we had that discussion about valuing time sure. and how people don't value their time generally. Well, the smartphone is a perfect illustration of that. And I ditched my smartphone two and a half years ago. I used to have a Blackberry. And uh, since I actually ditched the Blackberry, uh, I've been the, the most efficient I've ever been in my career. So I get two, three hundred emails per day. Now, if I actually spent the time to go through every single one of those emails each day, I would actually never get anything done. And actually, 90% of those emails that I get per day mean absolutely nothing. They don't add any value to my life. Me even responding to them would actually waste the time of the person sending them to me. So there's absolutely no point in responding to them or even reading them to begin with. I know they're nonsense before I open them. So it's a complete waste of time. And you know, smartphones obviously have the email function, everybody has that. Um, I tend to schedule, because I get so many emails, I tend to schedule uh, 30 minutes every few days to, uh, to go through all of them. And um, that's all I need. You know, I probably get back to about 30 to 50 emails every couple of days. That's about it. Now, apart from the email function on smartphones, you've also got messaging systems. Now these instant messaging systems with all these notifications, you know, combine that with emails. Uh, with a smartphone, my phone would literally be pinging during the working day, every two or three minutes. And it's just a huge distraction. And think about what people do on these messaging systems. Most of the time, they're just talking to people that they don't really know about nothing that adds any value to either person in that conversation. Right. So, you know, like I grew up in an era, for example, where if somebody, say, telephoned you on your landline at home on a Monday, you know, I'm talking like as a teenager or as a kid, sure. someone called you on a Monday and said, you know, do you fancy meeting up on Thursday? And I'd say, well, yeah, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll meet you on Thursday at midday uh, by the tree in the park <laughs> and we would just meet there there'd be nothing or no conversation in between right. these days I mean just to have a meeting if we have the same conversation there would be 25 messages in between sure. the initial conversation and actually meeting ab about nothing yeah. and it's just a waste of everybody's time and you know look at the way things go now like in restaurants you, you've seen it everybody's seen it the, the family or the group of people or even a couple on a date and everyone's just sitting there on their smartphones staring at their phones constantly during dinner <clears throat> it's just totally unsocial as well so it's not good in business and it's not good socially now to highlight this in numbers terms, what's the real cost of having a smartphone? So let's say, for example, you, uh, you value your time at $100 per hour, and you spend an hour a day on your smartphone talking to a lot of people you don't really know or care about, about nonsense. 
what does that actually cost you per year? Well, 365 days a year, that's costing you $36,500. But what if you value your time at $1,000 an hour? It's 365 grand a year. That's the real cost of having a smartphone. But the causality works the other way around. So I'm not saying here, uh, when you get rich, ditch the smartphone. It works the other way around. You have to ditch the smartphone to begin with in order to value your time correctly and get rich. That comes later. And you know, something as well that you know, a lot of people ask me is, uh, you know, if you're in the financial markets, how is it even possible for you to keep in touch with what's going on without having a smartphone? And I think that's the most ridiculous question ever. Because if you understand financial markets, <clears throat> you understand that everything that comes on your phone via mainstream media will never make you money in the financial markets. It's responsive to what's already happened in the past. Your job as a trader and a portfolio manager is to predict the future. It's, it's useless. So for me, and especially in my position in the financial markets, uh, you know, young people, my advice would be literally go through cold turkey. Do what I did, ditch the smartphone, spend one or two months doing cold turkey. It'll feel really weird at the beginning because you'll pick up your phone and you won't be typing away. You'll only get SMS and telephone calls, but it will massively improve your life. You actually become so efficient. You can't even imagine how efficient you become. Your life changes really quick ditch the smartphone because you will always be inefficient with a smartphone. Great. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> it is brutal, but yeah. you've just got to get rid of it. <clears throat> yeah. What, what's your downside? Sure. Test it for one or two months and see what happens. Sure. And, you'll, and I promise you, your life will actually become better. Of course.